Hello and a good morning to you. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Off the Press. We take a look at the headlines in the papers and try to make sense of it so you can go pick up a copy for yourself. My name is Felicity Ezewike and I have with me as guest to help with this review this morning, Femi Adekoke, Public Affairs Analyst. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. All right, we start with the Punch newspaper. We have quite a number of them here. Uh, the Punch says, constituency projects, Buhari attacks National Assembly, little to show for one trillion naira allocation in 10 years, that's the president. We didn't get such an amount, reps. Senate keeps mum, stop lamentation, Serap tells Buhari. Ndume explains poor project execution. And then there is a highlight of ICPC's project tracking reports, a picture of two big men on the front page, the president, the number one citizen, and uh, Lawan from the Senate. At a, just at the bottom of the paper on your screen, you will see um, a man allegedly shoots wife's lover dead in Edo State. That's directly under the picture of Bukhari. And right beside that, you will see 21 Ibado kings lose crowns. Canterbury Archbishop replies Serap over Shawari's detention. I'm not afraid of debt, says Obasanjo. Fire raises OAU morgue. 12 cups is burnt. Gulf polls. Politician sued, sold uniforms for fake cops, says IG. Reps disagree over results. That's uh, some of the headlines on front page. If we flip up now, you'll see other ones. Uh, you'll see um, APC using Jonathan to legitimize fraud, says Dixon. That's it uh, before you. At the top, you'll see merchants dump POS, inactive terminals hit 131,200. And one. Uh, you're also looking at bias of poll. PDP NWC meets today. I think the APC is also meeting. Um, and then the lamentation by uh, Reavers, uh, Governor VK, on um, the situation with the APC taking over the two PDP states. We also have a Fabio uh, and the ADDC mm -hmm. issue captured here on the front page. And behind the paper, you have government against Nigeria's poor. Government against Nigeria's yeah, poor. poor. And then yeah. there is a picture that just gives you an idea what you're about to read. Yes. Um, let's get uh, Femi to share his thoughts. Uh, which of these would you want to take on now? Well, the main story there is constituency projects. Buari attacks National Assembly. Yeah, one trillion in 10 years. That's an average of 100 billion per year. And there's little, like, according to the Mr. President, he said there's little to show for it. And I, the, the man is not just talking because ICPC has carried out some investigations and they've even indicted some institutions on several uh, uncompleted projects, money collected, money diverted. So I don't know why reps are saying hey, they didn't get such money. He didn't say just reps. It included the, uh, the old National Assembly. It is the uh, Senate and the reps. But fundamentally, it is wrong for our lawmakers to even be carrying out constituency projects. Constituency projects should be for local governments and state government. And that's where the pro you don't give people money without monitoring them and you expect them to do what they're supposed to do. You don't just throw cash at people. Look at what, what we're seeing now. Some arm of the National Assembly is saying, no, we didn't get that kind of money. And the Senate is keeping quiet. <laughs> that goes a long way for me Interesting personally. Interesting times. On, on the ICPC, it okay. is sad, again, I saw one of the, uh, that they were able to divert or to unfold nine trillion budget, pardon, maybe nine billion or something, nine from uh, university, federal universities and teaching hospitals. It is, these are supposed to be where uh, men of principle, men of character are supposed to be in charge and we're finding budget padding and all that. Who are we? That's the question. The people, we need to first ask ourselves a, a very pertinent question as a citizen. I always say it, the major problem in Nigeria are the citizens. We are our own problem. Well, 
Let's see um, other headlines here. We have the Nation newspaper. The big one is, again, uh, the one trillion you mentioned. Uh, Buhari orders probe of one trillion Naira constituency projects. President directs uh, ICPC to go after uh, contractors. That's another one for you on the front page. Um, you also have something on how to reform tax system by man, ICANN, others. Uh, and then just above the masthead of the paper, uh, you will see Ibadan Obas, the surrender crowns, Gazette set aside. That's another one. Uh, investors to get better deals, says Oyetola Ocean Holds uh, Summit. Let me just show you a glimpse of the paper so you can um, take a look at it. That's uh, a glimpse of the paper for you uh, this morning, how the front looks. Uh, we have a battle for Magu. Uh, back, battle for Magu's job steps up, uh, lobbies, TCPs, that's another one for you. Okay, there you have it properly now. Um, we also have uh, investors to get better deals, says Oyetola Oshun Old Summit. Uh, those are some headlines for you. Let me just move it up a bit so you can see how big uh, the screamer is there. Uh, the probe, and of course, the president there receiving some sort of um, um, documents. And then at the very bottom, uh, we have uh, 12 bodies burnt in OAU mortuary fire. That's uh, about it uh, for the front page of the paper. Uh, on the back of it, we have the Biosakogi polls captured, a post mortem of it. And then election hamatan, a blight on Nigeria's democracy. Uh, that's uh, some of the headlines for you. Um, not so many headlines this morning, but enough to get us talking. What's your take? Well, the Ibano Hobas um, in my in Yoruba, they say the elite on my feet on my little my wood. That means a house built with speed or saliva will be brought down with the deal. By the deal. Because they, there was only one known over in Ibadan. The last administration, the former governor, because he was against the king, created 21. No, but uh, how do we know? Is that factual or yeah. it is just an, an, an impression that we have? No, that it was not an impression. Him. He gave them the crown. Okay. He inaugurated them and gave them the crown. They were like chiefs, like. Uh, community chiefs. So what happens to and them he, now? If they are to surrender the crowns, what happens? They're going back to status quo. What normal, they yeah, they're normal. They were normal uh, community leaders or community chiefs, but because the former governor had uh, an issue with the Oba, with the real Ulubadon Vibano, and in Ibadan, they don't even struggle to become king. They have the ruling classes. They have their generalismo style. That's in Yoruba land, that's one uh, kingship that has not been debated. They don't quarrel, fight, about because they already know the next people in line. Once you become the head of your family, you are in line to become, they have, I think, about 14 ruling houses. What, what about your take on the battle for Mago's job stepping yeah. up? Is he really anywhere close to leaving that position anytime soon? Well, I, I, I think that position is a, it has a time. There's time limit to hit. Maybe he's not going to get uh, uh, a renewal to stay on for another term. And that's why people are already lobbying. You know, Nigeria, it's, it's, uh, that, that office is a juicy one now uh, for, to chase after people. A juicy with a lot of trouble. Yeah, but <laughs> I mean, some of these politicians who don't want to be chased. This is Nigeria. They can lobby for their person to be there. All right, let's go with this day newspaper now and see what the headlines are saying. Um, we have uh, one trillion naira wasted on constituency projects in 10 years, says Buhari. Um, we also have urges passage of special crimes court bill. ICPC arrest 59 directors for 3.3 billion naira fraud. That's the screamer on your screen. And of course, there is a taxman project, the president. There is something else for you to see. Chairman African Tax Administration Forum and Chairman Federal Inland Revenue Service Fowler and uh, President Yoweri Museveni of Uganda during the presentation of Bean Buhari, a book on President Buhari.
that's uh, something uh, for you to just uh, fist your eyes on there. Uh, at the very bottom, uh, we see APC Gov's president meet on public service delivery on Monday. We jump to the top of the paper just above the uh, screamer. There you have it. PDP dismisses alleged plan to suspend Jonathan. Uh, Chifton says party not happy with Dixon for loss of Biasa. NWC meets today to review polls. They're also looking at poll service forces 14,375 telecom subscribers to port in one month. And then you have Oshu gets 100 million naira sign on mining fee from a Canadian company. Details of that story is on page eight of the paper. And if you flip to the back of it, you will be looking at Masari's appeal to bandits. Um, edifying elucidation. I like it when they play around with words like that. Edifying elucidation. And today, okay, okay KHQ is talking about uh, Masari's appeal to bandits. All right, let's uh, take a look at the headlines. Uh, PDP dismisses alleged plan to suspend Jonathan. Well, uh, it was perceived that Jonathan walked against the party in the last election because of uh, Dixon's candidates. And maybe that's why this news was making the round that the party was going to suspend him. But they have come out now to say that they don't have such plan and they are uh, upset with Dixon. Because Dixon, in the first instance, was didn't allow the primaries. That's, what we, that's the news we had. He didn't allow the PDP primaries to go through the normal process. He enforced or his own candidate on the party, and that was why they lost. Anyway, that's gone. My, my gone, take sir. is the, the special crime court bill, it's a good one if it's been passed because we have so much uh, corruption cases pending and the courts will tell you because there's so many cases. So if we have a special crime court that we just deal with corruption cases so we know this time frame because we have so many cases that are pending. But who will man this corruption court? Is it not the same lawyers in regular courts? Well, yeah, it's the same lawyers, the same judiciary. Do we need that duplication at this time? Because there's been a lot of arguments saying, I mean, the courts are doing what they're supposed to do. Why yeah. do we need a special crimes court? Well, I've just uh, because we have so much corruption cases lingering to one. That's the other side of the argument. Will, this, will, it, will a special crimes court expedite action on these crimes? Yeah, that's, it should. Okay. Ideally, in, a, in this situation, it should. But like you said, the challenge is, why are we duplicating? But because in a country like ours, things don't work normally, and we don't have a process system. So maybe, or maybe not, this will help bring people to justice on time. We get just, but my challenge is, you want to pass a bill that might indict some of these lawmakers. And they will pussyfoot, drag their feet. They, they will not be quick to pass this, but they will be quick to send a speech to the next stage reading. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? Mm. So I, I, I've said it, I don't, I'm not sure whether democracy is for us. Uh, we, are, we have a democracy now. What we do don't, we have we if don't, you're saying we don't. we don't have a democracy? We don't have a you're democracy. walking around free. There is no military stopping you. On We're the walking way. around free? We're not walking around free. Okay. The country is under siege. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you that. Okay. Um, I mean, it, it's your opinion. Yes. Uh, Vanguard is next for review this morning. Um, bloody Guba polls. A PDP woman leader burnt to death. Home raised. Not a, not a nice one at all. Yeah. You see details on page five exactly. of the paper. And then uh, you have a couple of writers to that story. A bellow condemns act, orders probe. Police confirm incident, begin investigation. As Dixon tenders video evidence of rigging poll violence in Bialsa. We have no business with Dixon. That's APC in reaction probably to that video. Mm. And then again, we have the book presentation on Bean Buhari on the front page. And then Oshu Economic Summit. Canada-based mining firm pays one billion, one billion naira sign-on fee 
Uh, we also have Senate goes after hospitals issuing fake medical reports. Border closure, ex Ghanaian president Mahama Blast federal government says institutional failure responsible for smuggling. Uh, those are some headlines for you this morning. If you go to the top of the paper, uh, you will see Boyo made his mark in our industry. That's according to Man. Who is Boyo? If you don't know, go check out page 12 of the Vanguard newspaper. Um, we also have something on how people were instigated to fight me in Edo. That's uh, Oshomole speaking. Um, Showere is saying, well, the, the DSS is saying, we've received death threats over Showere. Uh, that's another big one. Nigerians not feeling impact of one trillion naira constituency project. That's the president speaking uh, at the moment. Behind it, we have sports, but we'll get to that in a bit. Let's just get uh, Femi to share his thoughts on any of these headlines. I know you're looking at towards the two. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, we are received death threats from Shore. Last night I watched the spokesman of DSS speak and it beats my heart for what he was saying that the shorties haven't come forward and there's paperwork and there is why don't you tell us the process? Because I've heard some lawyers who have said that is not the process, that it is not in the place of DSS to carry out such paperwork, that all such paperwork should be done in the court. So if he's now saying they are getting death threat, uh, it takes me back to what I said, that the country is upside down. If the state security is getting death threat, what is the fate of an ordinary man? Yes, they that's they an just, interesting question. And there's another story that says that Shore is planning, even in his incarceration, is planning uh, moves protest against Nigeria. He just tells us that they're just looking for a reason to keep hold of him against the court order. So that's just, they've held him. Now they, they've looked for well, what can we say, what can we say? Now you're coming out to tell the people that you're getting death threats and he's still planning protest. So that's another reason to hold him. But let's look at this woman that got burnt. Uh, do you ever say the time when we will have elections in this country without people dying? Because the, some would say this is just one too many. Um, I envisage the time, but it depends on uh, when will that time be is what I don't know. We've gone through this phase before. I said it here yesterday. Our democratic system has eroded back 30 years. I remember in 1983, 1793, there were cases like this getting houses burned and killing people. But we thought we have gotten out of that. But unfortunately, we're back there. A PDP woman leader, because she's a woman leader, definitely she has followership. That's why she was, it's just to send fear. And that's why I said the country is under siege. Okay, a number of persons in detention nationwide, Alami, Alamin, that's uh, Malami speaking, yeah. the well, man who should know. Yeah. <laughs> what would be our solution? <laughs> I don't know who is saying that he is the Attorney General of the Federation. Well, maybe that's one of the reasons why they want the uh, a special crime court okay. to be passed on time. Because there are so many awaiting trials and all that. We know. But, and then our legal system is not correctional. That's the problem. Because we have people who have domestic issues, they're locked up. All right, let's take a look at the sports before we wrap things up until yeah. we have um, about three minutes. Uh, complete sports is what we have now. Um, Grau, Simez, uh, key to Eagles' future. That's um, complete sports. We also have uh, Iwobi targets 77th start, 55th EPL win. Hell's good start to African qualifiers. That's uh, something for you. Uh, we have um, Mbappe to reject new PSG contract. Man City announces record 535 million euro revenue. Mm. That's a huge amount. Yeah. Citizens closing in on Man United as England's richest club. Mm. Uh, there are other headlines here. We have uh, Mikel regains full fitness, confirms return to competitive action. And then we also have 2021 African qualifying games, three takeaways from Eagles 100 record. Uh, that's um, something for you here. Pogba is also eager to rejoin Juventus. 
Uh, that's about it. Um, let's quickly take the look at the back of uh, Vanguard Sports and then yeah. we'll wrap it up. Uh, you are not Yakini. Ikbeba cautions uh, Osime details inside. And then uh, Edo states to pay women and men teams equally. Your thoughts on any oh. of these for we wrap up? Well, uh, on Ro saying Osime is key to Eagles' future. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's a young man who is having a good time. He's playing fo fo good football, both for his club. And Nigeria has had three, um, three goals in two games for Nigeria recently. And then back to what uh, our former superstar, Ikpeba, is saying to him, that he's not Yekini. Yeah, we know he's not Yekini, but he, he, he has the ability and the time to get there. He's just a young man of 20 years old, and he has everything going for him. He could become the next Yekini. He could break Yekini's record. Good enough. Thank you very much for coming on the program this yeah. morning. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for watching. That's about uh, where we will stop things for today on Off the Press. We're back again tomorrow with all the latest headlines. In the meantime, if you want details of some of these stories, please go get um, a copy of the paper from your vendor. Enjoy the rest of your day.